So yes, I am the part of the world. Our role wish is that our PPs and those perhaps there are relatively recent made RPGs that have this, but it'd be nice if there was some sort of shove or push feature to get NPCs to essentially go out of your way when they're in your way, but Anyways, yeah, as you should be able to tell, I did a little bit of level grinding, not necessarily just because I wanted to. But Rydia starts out at level 1. She is a summoner, a summoner slash Red Mage. And at level 1, she has 30 HP. And for reasons I really don't understand, they start her out in the front row. And I forgot to show this. You want her in the back. You want all your mages and archers and what have you to start out in the back row. Also there are certain I believe I'm not well I mean if you played this game or know anything about it, you know damn level one. But there is one dragon who can be in the front row, no problem. But because of his Dragoon skill, it's beneficial to put him in the back also. Where is this cave? I don't know how long this video is going to be. And yes, I'm having Rydia defending because, well... I want her MP save for a boss that is coming up, which we're probably not going to get in this video, but one never knows. Seriously, where is... There it is, I went the wrong way. Waterway South, and again, look how fast! They move. No, don't attack. Look how fast they move in the dungeon versus the overworld. And why was there that pause? Did someone attack and miss and I didn't catch it? That is always a possibility. I know these are going to be very boring, but I can't stress this enough. I want to save the MP for a boss that is coming up. Though if I ever stumble across some truly tough enemies... Okay, I guess I can gone up and gotten the treasure chest. ZOMBIE! Why are these zombies doing... ...are getting one... Ah! Can I run away? Yes, I can! I am running away... ...from the zombies. Cannot stress this enough when it comes to zombie movies, zombie games, entertainment media that focuses on zombies as a whole. I have never truly been a fan of zombies. Now I do 
enjoy overall Resident Evil, even though it is zombies. But I enjoy Resident Evil more despite it's zombies rather than because it's zombies. There's something about zombies that I have just always found to be extremely boring. And now I know in reality if there were a zombie invasion or a zombie infestation I'd be fucked. In reality with in any sort of bad worst case scenario, I'm a type 1 diabetic, I'd be fucked no matter what. However, zombies aren't real, and in regards to them being like a horror, a horror presence, the only thing that really makes zombies frightening are there huge numbers? They are essentially the locusts when it comes to monsters. One locust, not a big deal. One zombie, obviously worse than a locust, not a big deal, guess. Bash it in the head or quickly get away from it. They're only truly dangerous because of the huge numbers of them. Again, mm. one zombie, not a big deal. A swarm of hundreds of hundreds of zombies is a big deal. Like locusts. One locust not a big deal. A swarm of locusts? Major deal. They will eat the crops and cause starvation. I've always considered zombies to sort of be the locusts of horror and hella you're going in the back. Also, yeah, you started at level 20, so I don't have to... Whoops! Wait a minute, that is the back, never mind. Whoops, anyways. He starts out at level 20, so I fortunately don't need the level front. Which is a really, a big, big relief. Now, I was originally going to intend to End the video when I came across Tella, but considering I came across him so quickly, who knows, maybe we've all get the boss fight in this video. Or at least up to the boss. We will not know until we get to that point. We will just simply not know. More specifically, I will not know. Until I get up to that point. But yeah, zombies just bore me. Also, on a completely unrelated topic, when I was originally going to do this video, I was waiting on a delivery. And I thought before I do the video and wait on the delivery, I might as well do some grinding for it. otherwise I'm not kidding, especially in the front row where she starts. One to two hits, she'd be dead. So I did some grinding and not even when I was going to record the video. After I did the appropriate enough grinding and was going to do the video, I got the call, my delivery was 
delivered, and it was just sort of a, I do not remember any time in my life where it was, ah, oh, crap, did I just defend it? Yes, I did. Yeah, anyway. I honestly do not remember any kind of more convenient timing. If I'm gonna have you attack us to see. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, any more convenient timing than that particular moment. Because I didn't even plug in my USB cord before the video, or before I, the delivery came, and it was just sort of a, that is awfully damn convenient. Underground Waterway 2. And there are, oh, people outside walking by and talking. I am expecting a potential post office delivery. I honestly saw it because today is a civic holiday in Canada. It's family day. I know a terrible name for any kind of holiday, but because there was no long weekend in February, they essentially said, okay, let's make a long weekend in February, we will call it family. Anyways, it's a civic holiday, so some places are open, some places are closed. And apparently the post office and mail delivery is open. I'm not sure about the post office, I'm assuming it's a uh, people are delivering the mail, then the mail delivery is open. I am expecting a parcel and if you seen my other videos that is not related to video games at all you know what kind of parcel I always and I am again waiting relatively impatiently for it but that's just the way I am also you can climb up the waterfall. Which seems awfully confusing to me, like. Maybe if it were a very shallow, like not even so much a waterfall, it's sort of a river that's flowing down. You might know, like be able to walk south, but that is distinctly a waterfall. What am I doing? climbing up a waterfall. That just makes no sense to me, but then again, video game blog. Not just any video game logic, Japanese role-playing video game logic. Just saying. Wait a minute, did I, did I hit that guy for a one? Oh, can enemies defend? Yeah, I've seen the enemies can defend. Also, one thing that you might notice, because I noticed it too, there is no MP meter. Or at least, no, right now, MP meter. When I first noticed that iron ring, can I equip it? Um, no. She can equip it because she already has it. Can you equip it? Yes. Also, anything for the head? No. Anything for the left hand? No. Yeah, I, one of the things that did not 
really up and with me level grinding for better equipment. Run away! I feel like I'm not one moment. Can I climb up this long? Oh, crazy! I do not remember this. Then again, it has been a very long time since I first and last completed this game. So yeah, how long have I been recording? Relatively long. I might end the video sooner than I anticipate. Well, who am I kidding? I was anticipating ending the video when I met Kella. I made it in the video sooner than I anticipated now. I think there's a place where we can use a tent to heal up. And also, yeah. the benefit, one of these benefits of me playing this version on my emulator console and not the PlayStation version is I don't have to rely on save slots, I can save stay. He ran away. Like a coward. Oh, am I kidding? He didn't run away like a coward. He ran away because he was intelligent and he knew I was going to be able to kill him. I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and bye.